everyone. So today I want to basically show you how to interact with a baby king cobra to mellow him out for the future when he gets larger. Uh, I am filming this with my GoPro attached to my head and this is the first try so it may not look that good. Sorry for that right away. So what we do is he is in his little hut right now. Maybe you can see him and we'll just fish him out. Obviously we do not want to stress him. And cause him to fear anything. Alright. So as you can see, this is a baby King Cobra. Whoa. He is obviously a little agitated because I just took him out of his little hut. But so what I will do basically just keep him on the hook. And right now we see there's some agitation, there's a small hood, the tongue is basically searching and as you can see he is showing a reaction to my hand but he will mellow out we have done this before and he knows me king cobras come from southeast asia guys they are the largest venomous snake out there this is a baby that was hatched in August and it's already quite large as you can see I'm just trying to not to scare him but also establish some sort of a connection as you can see he's not a vicious creature he doesn't want to attack me there is no indication that he wants to bite me venom snakes they want to use their venom for hunting rather than defense because it's a valuable asset and as you can see he calmed down quite easily as I told you all he does know me already and he knows that I'm the guy that provides food and I have uh, done similar interactions with him and I haven't hurt him so there is a capability of learning here with these snakes still I'm relatively safe yes I have my hands close by but he is on a hook and I'm not free handling him and I really do not want to scare him so I try to keep my hands out of his vision but you see this tongue flick where he takes his tongue out and keeps it out for a long time is actually seen as sign of stress so it tells me that I have to be careful there hi little boy but he's okay as you can see he's not rushing he's not acting agitated he's not you know making spastic movements he's just staying there thing and I'm touching his body slightly and just you know making him understand that I am here I'm present but I'm not holding him and by any means I'm not really hurting him but right, let's move a little bit in the room guys can see this new terrarium that I built for the T Insularis baby just 
trying to find the background so that it's not too lighty and we can see the snake. So right there you, you can see that there is a little bit of a neck flapping going on. I wouldn't call it a full hood. But that also tells me that you know there's a small element of stress. But still, no jerky mo movements, nothing from him. So it's quite calm. Okay, one thing with King Cobras, they are quite fast when they want to be, so you gotta be careful with them. Obviously, he can easily go from one end of this uh, hook to the other in a lightning flash. And if I have to, I will basically drop him. I have no intention of getting bitten, obviously. But as you can see, he's okay. And I plan to do this Maybe not daily, but every other day when I can to build this trust between the snake and me. So when he is larger, it's an easier job for me to be able to deal with him. Again, King Cobras come from Southeast Asia, they are not true Cobras, but they come from their own genus called Ophiopagus, which literally means snake eater, because King Cobras primarily feed on snakes, in fact they would hardly take any mammals in the wild, they do eat frogs and they do eat large lizards as well. But in captivity, they are known to be switched to rodents and birds. And this little guy currently feeds perfectly on chicken. Oh, we got a little bit of a hood. I think he's getting a little bored now with this. So we'll get him back to his cage. Um, primarily, they're venomous, neurotoxic so uh, the death usually occurs from the diaphragm muscle getting paralyzed but obviously in large quantities of venom they can even stop your heart from beating uh, they also have other elements in their venom that causes serious issues uh, including a potential kidney failure uh, their venom may not be the strongest out there but because of the adult size of the animal which is, can be close to 4 meters the amount of venom that is injected is incredibly high which is the main problem with these guys but obviously a snake this size can still kill a human being particular one is a Chinese bandit king and as the name suggests comes from China and in my humble opinion is a very very cool animal oh he's footing <laughs> against his shadow here you can see the underside of him really nice yellow color obviously there's going to be a significant color change as the snake grows uh, they do not keep this juvenile coloration for long but still we will have a nice yellow background that remains with this guy all right guys i think this is good enough i'm just gonna move with him and very lightly get his little hut settled back and put him back into his cage as you
you guys can see, this was quite a civilized ordeal, except for the initial potential strike that we could have got because I just removed him from his little hiding place. But in total, I think this was very nice, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I will feed him today and just let him be for the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.